Some of the most typical problems that audio editors encounter with vocal recordings, both sung and spoken word, are plosives, p-pops, harsh sibilance, s sounds, and excessive breath noises. Plosives, otherwise known as p-pops, are the low-frequency thumps that can occur on some letters, like P and B, which create a blast of air that shakes the mic's diaphragm. Here's a dialogue recording that's slightly plagued with plosives. Plosives are P-pops, those bursts of air that you sometimes get with the letters P and B. Usually the solution for these is manual editing, but we're going to see if deplosive can handle them automatically. Plosives can occur even with good mics and experienced performers, and they're a nuisance to get rid of. You can try filtering them to remove the thump, but that often thins out the rest of the audio too much. My preferred approach, if I have to deal with them by editing, would be to cut the region before each pop and fade in over it. This works fine, but it can be time-consuming if there are a lot of pops. The deplosive module, once again, handles the heavy lifting. It detects and eliminates plosives much more quickly than any editor could by hand. This example has some nasty p-pops. Here's a dialogue recording that's slightly plagued with plosives. Plosives are p-pops, those bursts of air that you sometimes get with the letters P and B. Usually the solution for these is manual editing, but we're going to see if deplosive can handle them automatically. The strength and sensitivity controls determine how aggressively deplosive will go after the pops. Sensitivity determines what will be identified as a plosive, and strength sets how much the detected plosives will be attenuated. The frequency limit sets the upper limit for plosive removal. Too much sensitivity and or strength, and too high a frequency limit, could potentially affect parts of the audio that don't need processing, but in practice I've always found the default settings give the best results. Here's a dialogue recording that's slightly plagued with plosives. Plosives are p-pops, those bursts of air that you sometimes get with the letters P and B. Usually the solution for these is manual editing, but we're going to see if deplosive can handle them automatically. Here's a dialogue recording that's slightly plagued with plosives. Plosives are p-pops, those bursts of air that you sometimes get with the letters P and B. Usually the solution for these is manual editing, but we're going to see if deplosive can handle them automatically. Here's a dialogue recording that's slightly plagued with plosives. Plosives are p-pops, those bursts of air that you sometimes get with the letters P and B. Usually the solution for these is manual editing, but we're going to see if deplosive can handle them automatically. Next up, the breath control and DS modules.